Hello, good morning, beautiful human. Welcome to a new day. Welcome to my rooftop again here in Goa. Really happy to be back in the jungle and practicing with you from my happy place. Um, yeah, it's a new day. The sun is rising. It's going to get rather hot soon. So I thought I would film a re-energizing and revitalizing practice for us today. Um, just moving and breathing and waking up the body will set an intention for the day ahead and then in turn take that intention off the mat and into our daily lives. Thank you so much for being here as always. I really do appreciate you practicing with me. It means um, the world and yeah, I'm just super grateful. So begin today in a comfortable seat, sitting with your hips ideally above the knees. So if I've said it before, but again, if your knees are up, just take that little bit of extra time to get a cushion perhaps and sit um, up on a cushion. If you feel yourself rounding forward, again, really nice idea to sit up on a cushion as well. We want our spine lengthening up towards the sky and then crown of the head also reaches up to the sky. Let's face the palms up today to receive some energy from the universe. Close down the eyes if they're not already. Take a big inhale through the nose. Long exhale out the mouth. Two more times like this. In through the nose, filling up the belly, filling up the chest. Exhaling out the mouth. One more time, big inhale, filling the body with oxygen. Long extended exhale out the mouth. We'll take a few moments of stillness here. Maybe bringing your attention, your awareness to the crown of the head. Are you feeling any sensation in the crown of the head today? Are you feeling open, receptive? Are you feeling tired, perhaps closed off a little bit? Bringing your awareness to the center of the palms now. And can you feel that open and receptivity that naturally happens when the palms are open facing up? Really wonderful to practice first thing in the morning. Receiving energy, feeling open. The poor baby next door is crying, so my apologies if you can hear that. I have lots of neighbors at the moment because it's tourist season. Proof that you don't need the perfect <laughs> setting. To practice yoga. We make do with what is happening around us, especially in India. Bring your hands to heart center. Take a moment here to set an intention for today's practice and then we'll focus today on coming back to that intention throughout the practice as well as throughout the rest of the day when you continue. So do you want to feel strong, confident, soft perhaps, open? Do you want to come back to the breath, come back to your center? Repeating that intention, that sankalpa to yourself three times in your mind. You can say it out loud if you like. And when you're ready, we will... Open today's practice with a single Om, and then we'll chant a mantra to Ganesha, which is a mantra to remove obstacles. So removing obstacles from our mind, first and foremost, from our practice, and the rest of the day, invoking Ganesh. 
So you can just listen to me, we'll chant Om and then the Ganesha Mantra. First inhaling through the nose, exhaling out the mouth and inhaling for Om. Uh, Vakratunda Mahakaya Suryapoti Samaprabha Nirvignam Guru Medeva Savarakaya Shu Savarada Begin now to rub the palms together, create some energy here, feeling the warmth in between the palms. And when I say so, just as we have done previously, if you've practiced with me for a while, bring the hands to one part of your body which you feel needs some extra love and warm energy today, or over the eyes, whatever feels good for you. And take a big inhale while you're doing so. So you can do that now. And bringing your hands to heart center. Namaste. Let's begin to warm up the body now. Warming up the wrists first and foremost today. You can create fists or have the palms open, whatever feels good for you. One way and then the other way. Then the palms, fingertips coming onto the shoulders. Inhale up and back. Warming up the shoulders now. These can be as big or as small as you like. Engaging the core slightly will help you to keep that extension in the spine here. Not rounding forward. And back the other way. dropping the hands down we're going to warm up the forearms and the wrists here so so often in yoga we're pressing out of the wrist this way but we're going to press the other way so coming down onto the fingertips and then slowly lowering the palms onto the ground and the fingertips are facing you you don't have to go all the way down with the palms here just Pressing away just a little bit. So you should feel a good stretch here in the forearms and the fingertips. This is one of my favorite things to do ever. It's really not often in yoga when we're practicing that we do this movement. A few deep breaths here, finding a point of stillness now. And then slowly releasing. Wiggle out the fingertips a little bit here. Shake out the hands if you like. And we'll create some circles with the spine just in a seat here. Inhaling forward, exhale back and away. So inhale to expand and then exhale, pressing back and away, tucking the belly in. Moving with the breath. One breath, one movement. Swapping directions. Coming back through center, we're going to roll over now into tabletop. So shoulders are over the wrists here. 
maybe actually lower completely, like bring those ears to the shoulders and then actually roll them back and away. Knees are as wide as the hips. Inhale, look up, arching the spine. And then exhale, pressing away from the mat. Inhale to open. Exhale to press away. Couple more times. And then we'll begin to bring a little bit of organic movement now. So you can move the hips side to side, round and around, or back and forth. Maybe bending the elbows. Any movement that feels good for you today. Feeling soft and playful in this moment. Of course, you're welcome to stay with a traditional cat cow as well. And then from here, tucking the toes under, we're going to inhale, lift the knees off the ground about two inches. So the higher you have them, the easier this might perhaps be if that feels good for you. But otherwise, just balancing above the mat. Engage the core, engage the glutes, pressing underneath the knuckles away from the mat here. Crown of the head lengthens forward, so just looking about one foot away from the top of the mat. Really warming up the body here, staying for a couple more breaths. Feeling strong, feeling your body re-energize. Letting go, coming onto the knees. Take a couple of breaths and we'll do that two more times. Inhale when you're ready, lifting up. Staying here, engaging the core, shoulders uh, away from the ears. Staying here for four more breaths. Three. Two, and one, dropping the knees down. One more time, when you're really lifting up, you've got this, knees away from the mat, engaging the core, steady breath. Couple more breaths here. And dropping the knees down, bring the knees wide, child's pose, reaching the arms forward. If you like, you can also bring them behind to really rest those shoulders. Forehead towards the mat. Breathe into those hips into the shoulders here, filling up the body. Feel the body expanding at the back, at the front, 360 degrees. Inhale, forehead rises up, tuck the toes under, bring the knees back through center, and then we're gonna come back so walking the hands up lift the knees up you can keep the fingers down if you like otherwise coming into a little bit of a toe stand here hands to heart center close down the eyes if you want an extra challenge today but otherwise just finding one gaze here one drishti to focus on keeping the face soft core engaged shoulders away from the ears We'll stay here for three more breaths. And 
Next, exhale, slowly bringing the hands down, drop those knees down, and walking back up into tabletop. From here, pressing up and back into Adho Mukha Svanasana now. Doesn't matter how you get there, and then just take some time to move and breathe into those hamstrings, stretching up the hamstrings, the hip flexors, the IT band here on the outside of the thighs. Take a moment just to remember your intention here, remembering to honour it today. And in the same breath, remembering that it's okay that if you were feeling a particular way, for you to change, <laughs> for your state of mind and state of being to be changing and fluctuating constantly. It's rather, it's more about accepting that, not being so rigid in the mind. Finding some stillness now. So heels are reaching towards the back of the mat. Obviously they don't have to be touching. We're focusing on lengthening the back body. So really lengthening the spine. It can help to press the tailbone up towards the sky and then maybe bend the knees a lot. You really get that feeling of what we are wanting to feel in downward facing dog this way. We'll do lion's breath here three times. So shoulders are away from the ears, tuck the belly in, pressing out of underneath the knuckles. Inhale and then exhale, tongue out, out the mouth. Strong exhale, feel the belly and ribs contract here. Inhale, big belly breath. Exhale. Tongue out. One more time. Don't be afraid to take up space here. Looking up towards in between the hands now, and then we'll just begin to slowly walk to the top of the mat. Rocking back and forth for just taking your time to get there. We'll meet one foot away from the top of the mat. Slowly begin to roll up, taking your time to get there, we'll meet into Dasana. Roll the shoulders away from the ears, palms facing forward, close down the eyes. Preparing the mind and body for two rounds of Surya Namaskar now. Giving thanks to the sun for its light, for its wisdom, its knowledge it gives us every single day. This beautiful life. Bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Gaze follows, look up, arch the back slightly. And then exhale, hands in from the hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. So you can come onto the fingertips or hands on the shins or the thighs there, focusing on lengthening the crown of the head forward. Exhale, hands coming down. Take a big step back with the right foot. Drop the right knee down, Ashwasan Chalanasan. Inhale, reach up. Pull that left hip crease back slightly. Shoulders are away from the ears here. Exhale, reach forward and down, landing softly. <laughs> Stepping back into plank, Santalanasan. Inhale here, engaging the whole body. Exhale, Ashtanga Namaskar, drop the knees, chest and chin to the ground, and then keep the elbows tucked in. Untuck the toes, slide forward into Cobra. Still keeping those elbows tucked in, press into the tops of the feet. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, down. Pressing up into downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot reaches up. Exhale, stepping in between the palms. Left knee drops this time. Inhale, arms reaching up. Exhale, reaching forward and down. Big step up. Left foot meets the right. 
hardest us in forward fold. See if you can keep that connection here between the belly and the thighs. So upper body completely heavy, glutes reaching up. Inhale, rising all the way up, look up, arching the back slightly, and exhale, hands to heart center. We'll go straight over to the left side now, so inhale, reach up, look up, Hasta Uttanasana, exhale, forward fold Padastasana, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, lift, foot is back, drop the knee down, inhale, arms rising up, overhead, Exhale, reaching forward and down, stepping back into plank. Inhale, exhale, Ashtanga Namaskar. Knees, chest and chin, come down. Untuck the toes, inhale, cobra. Welcome to come into an upward facing dog or even bring the fingers wide here. Exhale. Pressing up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg this time reaches up. Exhale, big step up. In between the palms, drop the right knee down. Inhale, arms reaching up overhead. Cactusing the arms here if you like to create a little bit of more space is always welcome. Pull the left hip crease back. Exhale, reaching forward and down. I say forward and down because we can keep that integrity in the lower body and then landing with that sense of softness. <laughs> Stepping up, forward fold. Inhale, rising up, reach up, look up, gaze follows, bending the back slightly and exhale, hands to heart center. Drop the palms down, Take a moment of stillness, feeling the body, the breath, the heart beating. Maybe remembering your intention you set for today's practice. Remembering to honour that. See if you can soften the shoulders a little bit more here. Soften the skin in between the eyebrows. Blinking open the eyes now. Hands to heart center. We'll do another round of Surya Namaskar, but with the knee up this time. But obviously, depending on how you're feeling today, you're welcome to keep the knee down as well. So hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Hasta Uttanasana, exhale, handing from the hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, pull the belly in here. Exhale, stepping back with the right foot, bending that left knee. Inhale, high lunge here. Exhale, reaching forward and down, stepping back into plank. One breath, inhale, exhale, Ashtanga Namaskar. Untucking the toes, inhale, sliding forward, Cobra, Bhujangasana. Keeping the elbows tucked in. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Inhale, right leg reaches up, seeing if you can keep the hips square here. So hips are facing down and forward. Exhale, stepping in between the palms. Inhale, arms rise up. Pull the right hip crease back. See if you can just tuck your tailbone pelvis under slightly. Exhale, reaching forward and down. Big step up, left foot meets the right. Forward fold. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
straight over to the left side again. Inhale, arms reach up, look up. Open the heart here. Exhale, forward fold. Pull the kneecaps up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back with the left foot, keeping the knee up or welcome to keep it down. Inhale, arms reach up. Again, see if you can tuck the tailbone under just slightly. You might come back a little bit, but it really does help keep that integrity in the upper body, in the legs too. Exhale, coming down, stepping back into plank. Santalanasan. See what it feels like here to really round the upper body. Pressing away underneath the knuckles, all corners of the hands. Exhale, Ashtanga Namaskar. Eight limbs on the ground. And tucking the toes as you inhale. Bhujangasan. Pressing into the tops of the feet. Exhale. Adamukha Swanasan. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg reaches up. Exhale. Stepping in between the hands. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, reaching forward and down. Big step up, right foot meets the left. And forward fold. Inhale, rising up with the arms. Look up, heart is open here. Exhale, hands to heart center and dropping the hands to the side again. Notice how the body is feeling, how the mind is feeling. Heart is beating, prana moving through the body. Blinking open the eyes now from here. We do a side body stretch. So inhale, arms reach up. Clasp the hands together in Kali Mudra, like this, like Charlie's Angels Mudra. <laughs> So feet are together here, engage the glutes, and then exhale, we're gonna just move the whole body over towards the left, keeping the feet exactly where they are. Notice the natural tendency to round forward, so opening up here. Breathing into the whole right side of the body. Inhale back through center, moving over to the left. So left side body, right to that is. <laughs> moving the hands and body over towards the right, opening up and breathing into the left side body. See what it feels like to breathe energetically out diagonally, diagonally rather than sideways. That's really the feeling we're wanting here. Engaging the glutes. Inhale back through center, dropping the arms down, hands onto the hips, inhale, stepping this right foot to the outside of the left edge of the mat, inhale, arms reaching up again, clasping onto the right wrist, side body stretch once again, opening up. Maybe moving here, left to right if you like. Next exhale, we're going to fold forward. So see what it feels like to open the heart as you come down. Maybe the hands land on the mat. Maybe you can clasp the hands behind the back if you like. Staying here a few more breaths, letting the upper body be completely heavy. Breathing into the IT band, into the hamstrings. Inhale, rise up, 
Coming into one-legged mountain, lift the right knee up, pull the knee into the chest, keeping that right foot flexed here, keeping your gaze on one point, keeping that balance. Relaxing the face, relaxing the shoulders. Exhale, slowly releasing. Wiggling out the body maybe. Then we'll do the same on the other side. So hands on the hips. Inhale, stepping to the outside of the right edge of the mat this time. Inhale, arms reaching, clasping the hand onto the left wrist here. Side body stretch. Opening up. So maybe coming back slightly if you need to. Maybe moving the body a little bit side to side here. Steady breath. Next exhale, diving forward. Maybe hands come down, maybe even just onto the shins, then that's all right as well, or maybe clasping the hands behind the back here. See if you can clasp the unnatural way. So we have a natural tendency just to do one way, then see if you can do the other on the second time. Pull the belly towards the spine here, creating a little bit of extra space. Letting the hands be heavy. We'll stay here for a few more breaths. Inhale, rising up, and then we're going to come into one-legged mountain. So bringing the left knee in towards the chest this time, clasping onto the shin. Engaging the core, keeping the left toes flexed. Staying here for a few breaths. And exhale, slowly releasing. Wiggling out the body if you like. Bring the hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, open up, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping or jumping back into plank. Inhale here. Exhale, we're going to slowly, slowly lower all the way onto the belly. Landing as softly as you can. Pressing into the tops of the feet. This time we will bring the fingers wide. Roll the shoulders back and away from the ears. Inhale, open the heart. Staying here for a few breaths. If this is quite a lot for you, you can bring the feet a little bit wider. That will help you to create a little bit of more space there. Exhale, down, bring the hands towards the body a little bit more, roll the shoulders up and away, next inhale, rising up, maybe even coming down onto the palms, opening up the neck here, so you can really stretch out the front of the neck if you pull the head back a little bit, exhale, coming down, so you can stay here or there a little bit, or if you like, you can bring the hands in the mat now, on the mat, more towards the body, and same again, inhale, rising up. Trying to keep the pelvis and the hips on the ground here, pressing into the tops of the feet. Elbows are tucked in if the hands are closer towards the body. And exhale, calming down. Pressing back into child's pose now. We have a big machine going past. Forehead towards the mat. Take a big inhale through the nose here. Exhale out the mouth.
remembering your intention again here. It's a good practice, coming back to your intention. It's so easy to forget, especially throughout the day. It might help to just come back to the breath, and that might help you remember your intention as well. Inhale, rising up. Bring the knees in, pressing back into downward facing dog. We'll create a few wave-like motions with the spine here. So tailbone reaches up as you inhale, roll forward. Exhale, pressing back. Moving with the breath now, rolling forward and pressing back. So almost into a plank and then almost into a downward facing dog. Keeping it soft here, moving with the breath. One more time. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg reaches up, open the hip here. Heel is going towards the glutes. And then exhale, bring the right knee to the right elbow. And then all the way down into pigeon. So drop the knee to the mat. Right toe comes over towards the left side. Untuck the back foot. Inhale, rise up. And then exhale, calming down. I like to have the palms facing up here. Again, it really allows for that openness, that receptivity that we want to be feeling in this pose. It's very easy to round forward, but we want to feel open in the heart and keep that integrity in the upper body. So we'll stay here for a few breaths, maybe close down the eyes, if you like, really staying with the breath here because this can be quite intense. I do encourage you as well if you need to, to have a cushion underneath the right hip, the right glutes there. You want to feel grounded. So if you are up here and you're not super comfortable, if you, if you just sit on a cushion there, it will really help you to find a lot more ease in the asana. Three more breaths. Slowly rising back up with the upper body, tuck the back toes under, press up and back, Adamukha Svanasana. Maybe move the hips side to side here if you like. And then inhale, left leg reaches up, toes towards the sky, opening up the hip, toes towards the glutes. Exhale, left knee comes to left elbow, rolling forward slightly, and then the knee comes to the mat, calming down into pigeon. Roll the shoulders away from the ears, make sure you're comfortable and upright first, and then exhale, calming down, feeling grounded, palms facing up here, notice here how one side is perhaps a little bit different than the other. Totally normal and totally okay. Staying with the breath. Inhale, we're going to rise up, walk the hands back up and then this time just swing the right foot around and come into a seat. Finding that nice upright position just like we started. Inhale, arms reach up, look up and exhale for a twist. Left hand comes onto the right thigh, right fingertips behind. 
Lengthen the spine and exhale, twisting a little bit more. Inhale through centre, look up. Exhale towards the opposite side. Inhale to lengthen a little bit more. Exhale to twist. One more inhale. And then next, exhale, releasing. Bring the hands to heart centre. Just take a moment here of stillness, of connection to yourself. Just remember your intention. See how you honoured that or if you felt it was really necessary to honour that. And then perhaps think about how you can incorporate or remember to come back to that sankalpa, that intention, and the rest of your day. That's why we practice. We practice on our mats to live yoga off our mats. Bringing your hands to your third eye now in between the eyebrows and bowing forward. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm so sorry about the noise. As I say, yeah, you just never know in India what you're going to find. In the jungle, we have a lot of animals. We have some people around and then we have farming machines. <laughs> so yeah, wishing you a really beautiful day ahead. I hope you're feeling all right and I hope you are well in your side of the world leading up to the end of the year. I know it can be quite a lot, um, just like finishing off work and coming into the holiday season. Remember to take some big, beautiful, deep belly breaths when you need to, come back to your center, come back to stillness and prioritize your practice because that really does help how we be and show up for ourselves and others in the world. Sending you lots of love from Goa, India. Om Namah Shivaya.